In today's WordPress and Divi tutorial, we are going to be going over how to add a new page, add the new page to the menu, and then add the new page um, in the form of a link on, say, you know, any other page where you would want to link to the new page that you added to your website. So we are going to run through all of this stuff and <laughs> hopefully you have a good understanding when we're done. So we're going to create a page, add it to the menu. We're going to link to it from other pages. So we're going to cover hyperlinking, um, new page creation, messing around with the menu, all that kind of stuff that you very well may want to do if you have had a Divi website built for you and you are looking to add some additional content to it. So let's dive right in. We're gonna come into the pages section. So I'm logged into WordPress. We are using the Divi theme right here. So by default, we're using the Divi Builder. Um, and we're on our pages tab in the WordPress dashboard. And do Financial Planner Wealth Manager is the one we will edit. So we're gonna be on the back side just like we were on the other one. Um, okay, so, ugh, yikes. Um, so we're dealing with this right here. If I come in and grab this text, man, I don't want to come in and grab that text. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Grammarly is saying this should be cleaned up pretty good. Um, I highly recommend getting Grammarly, the paid edition, if you are going to build websites. But we need to convert this over to using the Divi Builder. That's why we have Divi to allow us to make good looking web pages very easily. So, uh, anytime you do that, we can just say use existing content. It's just going to throw all of that content into a text module, which oftentimes isn't quite ideal. If we come back here, we can see all of the code pulling in from WordPress plus Gutenberg, which is how that page was created since the uh, build with Divi was not clicked. So if I copy this text out of my visual editor and throw it into my text editor, it will strip all of the styling and then we will just have to restyle it. So now we just have plain text like this. So that's great. Um, Obviously, I had that saved, so if I bring up a Word document, if I wanted to reference the formatting of how he had it before I did that, I can just paste it into here and I can see the formatting again. Okay, so now we have our content in the Divi Builder, how we need it. Um, we're going to come to plus, yeah, we're going to plus, and we're going to go to an existing page. And we are essentially going to copy. We can pick any of these pages here. Uh, so we're going to do financial analyst is the page we're going to copy. We're not going to replace the existing content. We'll bring that into the page. Uh, so financial analyst, right? Financial analyst. Here it is. So I kind of hope this does its little glitch. It didn't. If for any reason this is just spinning after you try to bring in content like that, just refresh and then you'll have a button that says restore right here. So it's a very easy fix, but we're gonna, we wanna take this text down to this text area in here. I'm just seeing if this is one big text module and it appears to be. Okay, so we're gonna throw that in there. And now we have our text where we want it on this page with the same formatting as all the other pages. So this is starting to look better already. Um, so basically what we wanna do is get the name of this. So this is gonna be Financial Planner Wealth Management. So something that I would like to do is just you know take another page that has been done. I'm gonna throw this over on my other screen so you're not gonna be able to see it, but I'm just gonna reference how this text was formatted and we're gonna come right in here Come back to this side, type that in, and we'll say that's the heading one. So there we go. We go ahead and make our heading one bold. Ah, uh, what what we need to do is we already have all of the formatting 
that we want in this other text module. So we are going to pull that out of there, delete that, and we're going to put it into here. And then it's going to adopt the styling from this text module, which has already been modified from this. And then everything matches. Hmm. That should have been bold, but maybe I did it the wrong way back in the day. We just need to hit bold right there. Okay. So who we are, um, who you are. I mean, these words on the pages have got to be um, changed a little bit so the search engines can understand it. Um, you know, who we are, who our clients are, who you are. I mean, this, these are just vague terms that the search engines are going to have no clue. If, if you're trying to get the site to rank organically, they're going to have to have some context as to what's going on here in reality. But um, I, don't, I really don't know what to say. Who we are, who you are right here. Um, I hit the wrong button. Come on. Control U to underline, control U. I'll just go ahead and make this an H2. Um, so I'm using short keys. Uh, you may have to, you know, do it the long way or something like that, but uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. H2, I'm going to talk to you. We'll make this an H3. Um, I'm going to make this an H3 as well. Okay, if I come back and reference my styling, I just want to see what my hierarchy is right here. So, uh, who we are, entry level. So, these right here should be bullet points. So, to accomplish the bullet points, I'm actually going to dial in. I need to click off. So, see, I'm hovering over this and I can't edit it. Click up here. Oh my gosh, come on, there it is, finally. Click off until it finally lets you do what you're trying to do. Uh, so from this view right here, I have my editor options right here. And I'm gonna come down to entry level, and I'm gonna stick a bullet point right there, bullet point. And now I need to find the end of that sentence, delete, enter, delete, enter, delete, enter, delete, enter, and that's how that was right there. Uh, so we come down to the next one, experienced professionals. The bullet points start right here. So bullet point, bullet point. I'm just deleting and entering again. There we go. I want to talk to you again. What is the role gets bullet points? So here we go. Bullet point, delete. Okay, I want to talk to you again. It's a lot of repeating of the same text here. I would recommend. Uh, <clears throat> oh crap! That was I didn't, what I was do. Um, this. Okay. What the role is not is got one bullet point here. <clears throat> Control, Shift, Alt, U. I'm going to get the Shift, Alt, U. Speed up that process. Uh, he has this as like a nested one. I'm just going to make it theirs. Something like that. Uh, Control, U. Delete, enter, delete, enter, delete. Okay. So there we go. So now we have the the content on the page that looks pretty good here. Um, if we reference our other page, we can see apply for this position. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Bring that over here. Apply for this financial planner wealth management position. This financial planner wealth management position. Okay. All 
There we go. Okay, so we don't need to add it over here because we already have it over here. So we're gonna say save, or we're gonna need to check this real quick. Yep, so that's fine. Financial planner, wealth management, that'll work. Um, okay, there's the form. So right here, this needs to match this most of the time. So your focus keyword, so focus key phrase should be whatever you're really trying to focus in on this page. Um, position in Cincinnati. Let's say open position in Cincinnati. So I'm not sure if that applies to this one or not. If you need to adjust your meta description, do so here. This is what's gonna show up in the search results. This will be above this description in the search results as the title for your listing. And then your URL will also be showing, which in this case is gonna be this slug right here. Um, you can see the slug right there too. So we're good. Okay, so now this page is made and as long as we publish it and don't save it as a draft it's already published so okay so we'll say save and now we can go to this page view this page and copy that url since we're doing an internal link we don't need anything that comes before the dot com portion so right here we're on this page we want to edit that link right there so i typically just you know, for something like this, I'm just going to click in here so I can more easily identify where I need to go. Hover over it, ahref. Um, let's not do it in the code side to make it easier. We're going to do it on this side where we can just highlight it and click the link. And then I copy and paste in my financial planner wealth management. That's all we need right there. And make sure it sticks. There it is. And we click green check mark and now that has been saved to that page so we view the page up here if we click on wealth management now we go to it so perfect so there we go so finance jobs in Cincinnati so we want another one right here let's go ahead and copy this link right here and we will edit this page. So I'll click on my icon so I can see. Okay. See, if, if you click in and you see you're highlighting that, you're gonna be like editing that link. Don't do that. I hit the right arrow. I can see it's not on that anymore. And there we go. So I paste in my bullet point. If you come to the text side, you can see the text module portion. We don't need that uh, address before the .com like the others here. Um, so these should have been nested under Cincinnati job postings. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd highly recommend <laughs> to have, you know, somebody that knows what they're doing working on your website. Uh, if you're trying to do it yourself, you know, um, good luck. But there's some errors here. It's not going to be the end of the world. Um, so now if we come to financial analysts, we also want to get this in this sidebar right here. So if I click edit this page, I can come in here. I need this link again, so I'm going to control C, copy that again. And then I'm coming down to financial manager right here. And we'll say, so I just, I duplicated that. I just duplicated it. So we want something very similar to that. And then I'm going to come in here, <clears throat> change my link. So now I'm doing it in the HTML side, href is a link. There's where the A starts. Here's the closing A represented by the slash. The href is means link. So it's href equals and then quotes and your links in between. So there's our link. And we're going to say uh, wealth manager here. And I have 
two spaces right there. Something I do a lot, delete that out. Wealth Manager, boom. And now we have another link under Wealth Manager. So uh, now we can go to this page and we can also get to the other related position that we just whipped into shape and all that kind of stuff. So I believe we've accomplished everything, but um, adding it to the menu. So let me see down here, wouldn't go in the footer. Okay, so to add it to the menu, we're gonna go to appearance, menus, and here we can see our position right here. If you don't see it in most recent, it's gonna have to be in view all. If you don't see it here at all, that means it's either a draft or was accidentally created as a post and not a page. Posts and pages are separated in the WordPress dashboard and are slightly different, but not to the search engines, just to WordPress. Uh, so you wanna make sure you're building pages like this as pages. If it should be a blog post, I would definitely recommend using the blog post um, module or button, side menu, whatever, instead of page but we're trying to add this to the menu. So to do so, we're just gonna click right there and then we can rearrange this. So I'll bring this guy up to here and this is gonna go into finance, obviously. I'll drop it into here. So now we have our hierarchy of our menu. If we come to the front end, there's our hierarchy of the menu represented on the live site. Um, so just gonna go ahead We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll just leave it as it is. Save it. <clears throat> Menu has been updated. Come back here, update this page. And we can see that it's here now. And that's great. Um, you know, it wraps down the two lines. If, um, if this is an issue, you don't want it wrapping down the two lines. You can shorten it a little bit or potentially make this box right here wider. I mean, that's getting into a little bit of, uh, you know, customizing your website. So um, I hope that helped. Like it's, you know, I'd be happy to do like more in depth training if it's something you really wanna do. Like, but I, I just honestly, you know, warn you about trying to work on your website and get it to pr produce results like we, this website is not producing results at all from what I can tell from the analytic data and stuff like that, which in this case didn't really surprise me because of the competitiveness of this industry um, and the big players that are just dominating the search results and Google has their own dedicated place to put job postings in the search results. So it's kind of um, an uphill battle here. Uh, so. <clears throat> You know, if the SEO isn't perfectly on point on this site, you know, it's going to take a lot of SEO to get this site to rank anyways. So, you know, I don't really see any problem if you can add the content and make it look good on the pages and drive people to your website in some other fashion, whether that be offline marketing, networking, um, whatever, or, or even running ads, because I do think this website looks pretty good. Uh, I am pretty happy with the, the overall look and feel of this website. Um, but I just think it, because of the industry, it just, it's a, it's a tough one to rank organically in. So yeah, the SEO best principles. So what, what I'm referring to here is plainviewresources.com slash financial planner wealth manager. But if we went to one that was originally created with the website, they're nested to give Google more content context. Cincinnati job posting in the finance realm. This is a financial analyst position. So that's the kind of stuff um, that we try to do to give our clients a competitive edge in the search results. Uh, but it gets a little bit kind of confusing and cumbersome if you're trying to, you know, to start working on a website and working about nesting pages three pages deep. So until the next video, keep making money. Uh, holler at us if you need us. See you.